Welcome! In today's video we will look into making a better drop shadow by combining multiple drop shadows in Affinity Photo. Let's get started. First, let's start with a regular drop shadow effect. Select the layer, in our case a text layer, and apply the drop shadow effect. By increasing the opacity, radius and offset the drop shadow is applied. This doesn't look that bad, but we can make it better. Let's duplicate this layer and move the original to the bottom as a reference and have the duplicated layer move to the top to keep some distance. We want to apply multiple drop shadows with the idea that the closer the drop shadow is to the source, the darker and less diffused it should be. Let's start with the outer shadow with a low opacity and a high radius and a high offset. It seems that Affinity Photo has a minor glitch here right now, but that's okay. As we continue, it will fix itself. Affinity Photo does not allow to add multiple effects to a layer. A walkaround is to group the current layer. We can now add an effect on the group. This way we can apply an additional effect on top of the existing effect. This time we take a mid opacity drop shadow with a smaller radius and a smaller offset. Let's do some minor adjustment to the original text layer to fix the display issue I mentioned earlier. Now we group it again. We use an even higher opacity but a lower radius and a lower offset on this last group. We now have a much better looking drop shadow with much more depth in it, making it much more realistic. I hope you liked this video. Thanks for watching.